and welcome you back here on the Our Little Homestead, okay? So today we are making my mother-in-law's ham love, ham love. And today I'm wearing an apron because I've got my good top on. We're getting ready to leave. So I'm going to get this in the oven. I'm going to set the bake and the timer at 350 to about uh, 50 to 55 minutes if it's a slow oven, okay? You know your oven. All right, so we're going to glove up because I don't want grease all over me today. We'll roll the island out of the way since I'm not using that today. Oven is set. By the way, my apron was made for me by Doris Geiger down in Louisiana. I want to thank her for the apron. She made this for me a couple of years ago. You've seen it on me probably a few times. I'm just always afraid to hurt it because it's just so beautiful. And um, I've tried to find this fabric for other people. They've mentioned it, but I can't find this fabric anywhere. Trust me, I'd happily make you one. Because, um, I mean, now that I got the pattern from her making it, or she would happily make you one. So uh, just go to Facebook, to Doris Geiger, and she sells some beautiful aprons. But she gifted this one to me. She's just a wonderful Christian woman. And, well, every time I wear it, I think of her. So, um, but today I'm wearing it because I don't want to get ketchup and stuff on this, on my favorite white smock top, okay? Easy peasy. Let's get started. Two pounds of hamburger. One pound of pork, that's ground pork or ground ham. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of blend these two ground hamburger and ground pork together. We're just gonna blend that together. Blend it well. This has pork in it, so make sure you cook this to the temperature of pork. All right, and when you get that blended nicely, You're gonna add a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, or as they say in the East Coast, Worcester. All right, a half a cup of ketchup. We need three beaten eggs. I'm gonna throw this sack away, so. Two packages of ground saltine crackers. And that's just just hit that with the meat mallet that's to get thrown away and a half a package of either Limpton onion soup or this ranch dressing either one I like the ranch uh, pepper and I'm out of my freshly ground pepper I gotta order that I get mine from berryfarmfoods.com where I get my gluten-free flowers now this is not gluten-free you'd have to use gluten-free crackers for that teaspoon of table salt. Got to have iodine sometimes. Parsley, fresh parsley is better, but here we're just using what I had. I had a little bit of this left. Parsley is so good for you. I have lots of parsley. It's going to be hard to open this. This is my vacuum sealed. You see that? Isn't that cool? My vacuum sealed um, potato flakes. Saw them, I saw it swirling around when I opened it, when the air hit it, so I know that it's still good. Mmm, smells like taters. Here's one tablespoon, two tablespoons, about three level tablespoons of the potato flakes. Let's put our glove back on. There we go, glove goes back on. All right, mix those eggs in thoroughly crackers and you can put whatever spices whatever you like sometimes I even add chopped peppers to this which is really good you can add a finely chopped onion I find that's really not necessary and this this already smells so good with that ranch dressing sometimes I'll switch it up and put even in some chili powder um, you can add turmeric to this to add some color and to add some nice health benefits, if you want to, that's fine. Oh, it always makes it feel like the gloves are going to fall off, doesn't it? Get these crackers. That meat. Nice, nice and blended. And a pan it goes. We're just going to shape it into a loaf. 
to shape it into a pretty loaf here. Tucking in and mixing in any extra lumps of crackers you might see or have. Now, since this is for sandwiches on my Pullman loaf bread, I might even make up some of those hamburger buns again. Kind of get that cracking so I don't get a lot of cracking. And I always take and put a divot in the middle and that holds, you know, it kind of gives it kind of that bread shape, but it also holds my ketchup roll without it all flowing off of here. And I don't add my ketchup until I'm probably about 35 minutes into the baking. This is just how I do it. You do it however you like. I just like having that extra bit of ketchup there in the middle. And sometimes people only like a little half a piece of meatloaf. from the sides here so it's got a place for the fat to drain off the sides that's perfect now we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes we're going to go walking in the park before the sun sets and we'll be back to uh, serve this up all right i hope you've enjoyed this recipe be sure and subscribe to our little homestead and hit that bell so you can get our most recent videos uploaded directly to you without having to search for them ham loaf it was that easy and it's so versatile. And the family, they love this, especially for Sunday dinners. All right, make it ahead for sandwiches throughout the week. All right, we'll go put this in the oven. We'll be right back. Get a little ketchup, a little maple syrup, just a little bit a little barbecue flavor to it you can add just a touch of barbecue sauce just a touch I don't add much uh, a heaping tablespoon of brown sugar it smells so good coming in here keep the oven on look at that it's perfect let's get some of this grease off of here get an internal temperature reading because there is pork in here so we need to be 160 degrees in the center that says 165 165 the 170 okay, we clear the 160 if we clear the 160 be sure don't put this back in here we want to wash that All right since we've hit the 160 degrees then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this uh, half a cup of ketchup, the tablespoon of maple syrup, your favorite syrup, and your brown sugar. And we're going to go ahead and spread this across the top, just like so. Making sure you get a nice thick thing of it here down the middle. Make sure you can down the ends with it. The ends. I like the end pieces. I like the end pieces. They have a little bit more of the crispy texture to it. This is perfect. So an hour and 20 minutes. We timed that just perfect. I was worried about it, but now we're going to leave this off. And we're going to put this back in the oven for another 10 to 15 minutes. Then we're going to bring it out of the oven and let it cool. Isn't that beautiful? And let it cool. For about 10 to 15 minutes before we slice it okay that's before we slice it and we'll be right back when we get that far all right we're back this is Janie Pendleton and we're back we want to thank you for joining us here on our little homestead I've just got a little glass here and I've got this new Prairie Farms Peeps orange cream flavored uh, milk and I'm going to give this a try they had strawberry chocolate um, some other one that was yellow I forget which one it was I'm gonna give it a try here see how it tastes and it's not lactose free so I have to make it lactose free and I can do that by adding simply adding lactose free milk to the mix just like that that's plenty that adds enough of the enzyme 
that I'm able to digest this. So here goes everything. It's not bad. It's uh, supposed to be the flavor of peeps. It's not bad. Let me kind of blend that in a little bit better. It's just like an orange cream. I'm sure it would have been stronger flavored had I not added the lactose free milk to it, but I like it. It reminds me of eggnog a little bit, like an orange eggnog. And they, oh, that's what it was. The yellow was eggnog. Mmm, pretty good. So the Prairie Farms Peeps, give that a try. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm gonna pour some for my husband. Let him try it. Oh, wow. That smells so good, it went right up my nose. Oh, look at that, look at that. Now that is what I call a Sunday dinner best right there. Now you're gonna wanna let this, you can pour off the fat if you want to. It's fine, we're gonna eat it fast enough and I'll get it on a plate here. Let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before slicing and you'll get some beautiful slices out of this ham loaf, okay? Give this a try. Mm. Nice big thick in here for daddy. Look how nice that cuts. Look at the texture of this there. And we will just sit this on daddy's plate. And you can keep get a little sauce and just add a little extra sauce to this. And I mean, this cuts nice every single time. Look at that. It's just beautiful. Let me this around for you so you can see that better. It's just beautiful. Now I can't eat a whole piece. So I can eat this piece here though. And then I'll give this other half here to daddy. Right there. Yeah, okay. Give it a try. Thank you. Let's try it. Lexi wants some. It is wonderful. It is great. It's delicious, isn't it? Is it is delicious. This is why it's a Sunday favorite. Mm -hmm. And it's and it's something that's affordable. So now I'm gonna give it a try. I try mine. It's hot. Mmm. That's my favorite meatloaf. As far as meat goes. It's a favorite. That ranch dressing in here, it doesn't taste like ranch, but it gives it a little bit of a kick. I don't know, it gives a little bit of an um, it gives it a little bit of a kick. Mmm. I can't stop eating it. It's like eating candy for dinner. It's great. Best meatloaf. I've not had a better meatloaf at any restaurant. I'm not kidding. If you have a really good recipe you would like for me to try out for a ham loaf or a meatloaf, then leave a comment below and leave the recipe below. I'll give you credit and we will try it because I'm definitely into meatloafs. I love them. And they're great next day for sandwiches. So we bought some buns here for sandwiches. Mmm. Mmm, meatloaf. If you're not a meatloaf lover, you can't help but love this, can you? This is great. It's better than a hamburger. Mmm.